Right. Converting colonists in ideology. I'm going to run through how it's done, and I'm also going to give you some simple tips to speed up the whole process. Now, if you're anything like my colonist, and you have intense bigotry as a precept, any colonists who don't share the same ideology as your base colony is going to give a whole host of debuffs to everybody's moods. So in order to fix that, the best way is to convert everybody around to your way of thinking, which means a bit of re-education is, is in order. So here you can see in one of my core colonist moods, he's unhappy about the diverse thoughts, which means that there are multiple people in the colony that don't share the same belief system as he does. It's a minus three buff to mood. It's as bad as eating without a table. Let's just leave it at that. So in order to get people on the same wave of thinking, you've got sort of two real options. One, if they're a prisoner, like we have here. In the prisoner options, you've got, as well as reduce resistance, you can also select convert, where the prison warden will look at reducing and breaking the ideology of prisoner. Best to do this first before you then try and recruit the prisoner. Get him on side with the ideology first, then get him in the team. And naturally, best person to do this is your warden. High social skills improve this immensely. And this is probably the quickest way to convert anybody. So it doesn't matter whether it's a pawn that you've just picked up and are planning on converting, or whether it's one of your own pawns. Lock them up and then get to converting them. The reason for this is, the certainty in a pawn's ideology is based around how happy they are at the moment. So even though you try and convert them, this certainty, certainty can keep on climbing up again if a pawn's really happy living in your glorious colony with you. Whereas if you lock them up and maybe get a bit mean with them, you can look at successfully reducing and converting the pawn. Now this getting mean doesn't have to be enslaving, it can be as simple as looking at what a pawn has in their current ideology. So for instance, perhaps they don't like the corpses, you could stick a load of corpses in the prison. Maybe they're specific meat eaters. Um, in this case, this pawn finds nutrient paste disgusting, so we are feeding them nutrient paste to stop them believing in their current ideologies and come round to our there's one true ideology, which is, of course, nudism. Now, your second way of doing this with colonists who are already part of your colony is by utilizing the ethical philosopher. Now, an ethical philosopher can be made once you have three colonists within the colony and you lose it if you go down to a single colonist. And really, when you're selecting who's going to be your like moral leader, you want to pick somebody again with the highest social skills. And what this does is this gives them a set of skills, two of which are quite interesting to us in this specific circumstance. Others are interesting for the colony in general. So here you can see the charging. We've got preach health, improve our healing, counsel them to remove some sad memories, reassure them, um, improve current beliefs. And the big one, convert. So depending on your skill, you get to convert somebody to your ideology. And this is what we want. Again, even if colonists aren't prisoners, anything that reduces their happiness helps in preventing their current ideology and their certainty in their current ideology from becoming stronger. However, without them being prisoners, you also have the small issue of if they have a mood break, they're likely to cause some trouble for your colony, or at the very least slap someone in the face. So what we can do is take in our counselor can use the convert and use it on a pawn and as you can see here the skill is currently at 32 and i think our social is pants our social is at four so let's see how much percentage this drops off shall we if you mount over somebody it shows you exactly what the percentage reduction will be based on a number of factors so there's your base percentage chance the which is just a standard conversation between the two pawns Using the convertibility amplifies it by 200%. Alfred's conversion power is 130%, which I think is just the negotiating ability. Now, the fact that Nikitas is kind 
actually improves it as well. So this is going to reduce it by 19%. Not quite going to get us there, but with the next round, we'll be right on this. So then just hit go. Bit of a chat. There you go. Down to 14%. Nikitas was also upset by the attempt, but certainty has fallen down to 14%. So, you know, one more stab at it. This is going to take about two days to recharge. In fact, it will take three days. It'll take three days to recharge. And then one more go. That's another person converted to the naked course. So option three is the conversion ritual. Now this depends on a number of factors. Again, we're going to be using the moral leader. You're going to get spectators to watch this happen too. And what you want is an impressive room with the desired ritual piece of furniture. So in our case, it's a medium altar, the altar of justice. So you can see here we're suffering from a couple of things. One, we've done this quite recently. So there's a minus 38% reduction in quality here. However, we're also going to have a massive 3 out of 10 participants standing around naked watching this guy try to be convinced to become naked, which is going to give us a 15% buff. The room impressiveness is at 60 out of 120, so clearly there's a bit of work I can do there. And our negotiator social impact which gives us an extra 23.5% quality. So again, the more the social scale, the better the chance of getting a high quality outcome. And so this gives us a 13% expected quality. Now, bear in mind that this actually has a range of outcomes between terrible and masterful. Uh, and this affects what everybody else's mood who attends the uh, the party will do. But for, mo for the most part, we're interested in converting the pawn. And do bear in mind that this might not always be successful. Okay, so one final tip for conversion, and that is hats. Now, the bowler hat gives you a 15% impact to social interactions, which is going to help your pawns, especially your moral leaders, perform the conversions. And again, all of, you, all of your pawns with social hats, they're constantly talking to the, to the non-converted pawns and every interaction they have has a chance at reducing their ideology. So stick everybody in some fancy bowler hats and you're on to a win. There you have it guys. Four ways to convert a pawn. Easy peasy. All the best with your rim worlds and I will catch you in a bit. You're going to want to take your clothes off now. <laughs>